Okay, we are here on this glorious Wednesday, the day after the release of Digimon World Next Order. Um, yeah, so we're going to play some anime soccer. And my face is probably going to turn into a ghost because it's really sunny outside this window. Whoo. Interesting. What the hell happened here? Let me, uh, let me see what the hell's going on with this boy now. There it is. No, it was actually the capture program. But yeah, what's up, SV? Luna? Yosh? Oh, man. Oh, that's the capture card, not even the program. You did spot Osu on my desktop there. I downloaded it, but I never played it. Oh yeah, we're gonna fight Pirate's Cove. Or no, Kirk Kirkwood. Yikes. But yeah, I if Digimon World came out yesterday. I planned on streaming it for like an hour. Then I streamed it for five hours, and then I stayed up. Oh my god. I stayed until up until seven in the morning playing it, because I don't work today or tomorrow. Luckily those were my two days off for the week. I should stream Osu someday. Arian, how's your warm-up going? Gotta stretch all over. Oh, so you're Arian, and here you are, trying to talk to the rival coach before a game. Rather plucky, aren't you? Arian Sherwin, sounds about right. You've been a wind of change for Raimon, like you are full of passion now. But whatever, we're gonna win today. We have to win this one, like. Let's just let's just do it. Yo, what's up, Alamar? Well, have you finished warming up? I have, yeah. Oh, we're talking to Jade. You're gonna need a team of the level that you don't have, but it's fine. I we gotta leave poor Juan Lee. He's our best defender. Do we even have another defender? Nah, Subaru Honda, I guess. Might as well swap him with Aitor. Good stuff. Just remember, Kirkwood knocked Raimon out last year, so get out there and give them a belting. Both teams are in position and ready to get started. These sides met in last year's final, so we're sure to see some fierce rivalry today. Kirkwood only just came out on top last year with a 2-1 victory, so the match could easily go either way. And there's a kickoff. <laughs> That's how Dragon play. Uh, Drago play. Poor Wan Lee. Okay. 
Wait, what? Do we not have... Oh, we do have dodge. We can go in instead. Getting blopped. Seriously. Roman Nishiki. Oh, dang it. I tried to pass. They can't score, though, so it really doesn't matter at all. I can do this. Doubt it, like. I lost it. Kirkwood steal the ball with ease. The elder Ash brother tears down the pitch and oh, what's this? Raimon's goal is wide open. Take this. Oh. What's going on on this pitch? The ground just dropped away and the ball fell in. Ladies and gentlemen, what a treat. The River Raft Arena's special and extremely tricky quirk comes into play. Over time, parts of the pitch are set to briefly sink, but exactly which parts, when, is anyone's guess. Hmm, well this adds another dimension to the game. I'm surprised to see Kirkwood weren't already in the know. Interesting. We'll have to come up with a strategery. So much strategery. Get Eddie on the ball. Really? We're just going to let him take it then. It's a goal lock, who cares, man? He can't score. But that doesn't actually do anything, only... ...sweet dribble moves do things. What the hell was that? Did he, like, swat it like he was trying to do a slam dunk? Arian. You know what? Use Illusion Ball as many times as you want, bro. Oh, for God's sake. At least they're wasting literally all of their TP. But at least we've seen the extent of, like, the 12 moves in this game. Oops, I accidentally hit punch. Not that it matters.
I wonder if that wastes his FSP. Now see where the fuck is Arian? Why is he back there? Pardon my language. Dude's a midfielder, like what is he doing? I don't want to use specials, man. They're gonna get it. Oh, this is Ricardo. I thought it was Ator. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. And then no one had TP ever again. Stay in the circle, you f dimwit! Waste all of his. Yikes, I almost fell in. Cavolo, it's not easy to move the pitch when parts of it are falling away. Bay, it's time to roll out the tactics we rehearsed. Ah, yeah. Right, lads, let's show them we're a force to be reckoned with. Ah, uh, the Trinity Force. I don't think we're gonna win this one. Ah, uh, they've dodged the sinking area and now they're legging it down the pitch. By forming a single entity in a triangular formation, they were able to dodge the danger zones with ease. Interesting. They must have developed this tactical play to break through the defense. Herc would adapt quickly. Ha, ah, and you call this lot the resistance? I don't see him putting up any. Oh no, you don't! Lapin runs in to intercept, but he's still not behind the ball. Will he make it? He launched himself past the ball, unbelievable! An outstanding effort from Lapin, but handling the ball means Kirk would receive a free kick. Désolé! That was stupid of me. No, come on, you tried, and that's what matters. Keep that level of determination and we'll sail through this match. Yeah, good effort, JP. Ricardo, when Lapan jumped just now, the panel he was stood on moved, which gives me an idea. Link your passes in midair. That may be the solution to navigating this pitch. How do we do that? The trick isn't just to receive the pass in midair. 
You need to both receive the ball and pass before you land. Capisco! If we can do all our passing in mid-air, we won't need to worry about the sinking pants. And Zadio? You think we can pull this off? It'll be fine. We can do it. Can we? Because we're never going to get Ricardo up there now that I used all his TP. Oh, just let him shoot. No one cares, man. Why would you pass backwards? So they could use more TP? They're literally passing around to use an illusion ball more. It's baffling. on in a real match like 50 million times by now. And like, why is Ricardo down here? It's the same thing with Arian. You're a midfielder, dog. Like, get up there. But soon they'll have no TP, so, you know, that's at least this one saving grace. Other than Bay over here. So, yeah, what can he use backslash like 40 times? Why is it so cheap? tired already before the first half even technically is over. Everybody's tired before the actual game even started. That's how bad our team is currently. And the best part is we have infinite time. <sighs> well, it's now or never. Ready, team? It's time for Upsy Daisy. Are they doing all that just so they don't let the ball touch the ground? That's ridiculous. Yes, we did it. I must say, I hadn't expected everyone to pull off their jumps with such finesse. I was almost convinced it wouldn't get there. We managed it because Coach Sharp's been honing our basic abilities. Wow, and the saxophone comes in. It seems the genius playmaker is still worth his title. Roma, heads up! You 
What? You can gur off your eye or like. Kirkwood's defense is solid as a rock. Is there any room for Raimon to maneuver? Everyone's being marked. In that case, I guess I'll have to shoot. Roma, do something. Heh, <laughs> my ball. Oh, that's painful. Lankford Ash steals the ball and launches into a counterattack. Lankford, hold on, like. I can take care of this. Hope you're ready, like, cause here it comes. Why not? Goes our loss. I should have taken a shot when I had the chance. Oh, oh Pimps no. McGee. Ooh. Isn't that? Hmm. Well, when we lose this, I'll just leave and go uh, to a competition route match. Because they can actually score now, but. At least... Unless Victor gets really slammed here, him and Dodge should have almost full TP, because they, like, didn't come into contact with the ball at all. But, see, yeah, it's too low level. Damn it, and I think that counts as him losing the ball. still doesn't know. Oh, I do mean Kaiser, yeah. But does Lucian... Oh, Lucian still doesn't know anything, huh? Damn it. So it's not... Mm, probably screwed in this one, man. They have no TP or F... They have nothing, Arian, and he still can't get the damn ball? This will not score. What are you doing? I thought we were saving your fighting spirit for the second half. Yeah, come on. We're playing as a team. Don't go trotting off like you own the pitch. Shut it. We got the goal we needed, so just back me up and we'll have this game in the bag. Coach, please do summit. If it keeps going on like this, we're going to fall to pieces. Agreed, team. We're bringing on a sub. Langford's not cooperating. Bradford, I want you on the pitch. 
What, me? I'd also like to proffer some advice for the second half. Be true to yourselves, that is all. What does he mean by that? Are you serious? You keep the pressure. Don't give him any space to breathe. Look, Brad, if we lose, the resistance will get stronger. You're not going to mess up on purpose for Raimon, are you? If we start losing just to help the resistance, how would we be any better than 5th Sector? No, I'm playing to win. Huh, fine. Just make sure you don't drag the team down then, like. Langford the dick. Phew! That was a tough first half. I can see why Kirk would win last year. It's all my fault. I should have taken the shot. Roma! Looks like someone's been working hard. There's only one person I know with that kind of kick. Chief! Pimps McGee. Kevin. Jude! Haven't seen you for donkeys. The legendary Kevin Dragonfly? The one and only. Ah, that's right. You're in the Italian Pro League, aren't you? So you're the chief Nishiki keeps going on about. What are you so afraid of, eh, Nishiki? That Namby Pamby play's not like you at all. Namby Pamby! Just tell me what to do and I'll do it, Chief. Look, I taught you just about everything I know. But as far as I can see, there's one last thing you're lacking. And that's a hearty portion of grub. Ah, oh, yes, Chief! Oh, how weird, man. Is that it? I was on the edge of my seat, like, expecting him to blast out a super secret move or something. Oh, this is stupid. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel the power welling up inside. Good. Now, on your bike, show them the fruits of your labor. Oh. One is so upset, man. Oops, did. Seriously, that's how we're gonna go. No, oh, it's locked again, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I feel so energized, I could power the whole country. Watch this, Chief. Let me show you just how much I've improved. I'll show you the way of the Samurai Warrior! Whoa! Roma awakened his fighting spirit! Booyah! That's what I'm talking about! I can't thank you enough, Chief! He's always had the potential to bring it out. He just needed that last little kick in the right direction. That's what the grub was for. I see. You must have built up huge amounts of energy over time. By releasing it all at once, he awakened his fighting spirit. Unorthodox methods for unorthodox people, I suppose. You can say that again. And as long as he keeps believing in himself, there'll be no stopping him. Who does he think he is, man of the match? Pass to me, I'll punch through the with destroyer charge? Langford, why don't you get it? We're all working really hard to win here, like all of us. Stop just thinking about yourself and try trusting the rest of us for a change. What? What do you know, Bratford? That's as far as you go. Oh-ho, Rymon has Langford Ash pinned down. Hey, Langford, are you blind? Pass the ball. Brad's 
wide open like. Brad? If we start losing just to help the resistance, how would that make us any better than Fifth Sector? No, I'm playing to win. Be true to yourselves, that is all. Be true to myself? Then it's about what I want, and what I really want is I really want to win this one, Brad. It's all up to you. Boot it in proper! Hopefully Brad does not boot it in proper, because then we're screwed. Langford Ash makes a clean pass to his brother. This could be the chance Kirkwood's looking for. I'm not going to let you down. Interesting developments all around. Whatever the outcome now, the match has been worthwhile. Mm, I don't know that that's true. Ricardo. Oh, God. I'm gonna come up the side, you dumbass. So that if we can get the rebound, that would be clutch of you. Alright, we won. Score again with Roma and secure the victory. No TP left, so obviously he couldn't have blocked that regardless. But now there's not enough time for them to catch up, so this was not a waste of time. Woo! You know, this one was looking pretty bad there in the beginning. No, they did not, Dragonfly.
We lost? Heh, <laughs> we're just that guy, Tor. Let's not get carried away. Recovery and log roll. And there you have it! The winners of this third round match are Raimon Junior High! Both sides gave us a spectacular show, but Raimon showed their indomitable spirit and refused to be beaten. The crowd have gone wild! I hate to say it like, but at the end of the day, the best team won. But don't think we're going to take this lion down. Next time, we're taking this trophy, and we'll be playing proper togger, I'm telling you. But Dave is so dumb. Proper togger. time getting past us. Saws Lanford. I couldn't do nothing to stop him. <clears throat> it's not your fault. You know, I... I really wanted to win this one. You did. Everyone, I'm very proud of the way you played today. You worked together, and teamwork is everything. Well, like, it was you who made that happen, Coach. And you know that true pack you talked about? I reckon we found it. I trusted you to pull the team together, to unite and think as one. Only by placing you into a desperate situation could you work towards a common goal. You cannot savor the true glory of victory alongside your teammates without first having tasted the humiliation of defeat. I know. You may think of today as a new beginning for Kirkwood. United in spirit, you will emerge victorious. Yes, yes coach! coach. I misjudged you. Perhaps. <laughs> hmm. That Kirkwood was the best I had. Lost. How is that possible? Amusing. The next day after school, we played competition round matches. So we've been beating last year's champs, and we're well on the way to the final. Not bad. Nope. We're like a ball going towards the goal, and we just keep getting kicked closer and closer and closer. Ha ha! That means Coach Dragonfly was one of the people who was giving us a kick, no? It was amazing to meet him. I can't believe he played for Inazuma National, and now he's playing in a pro league abroad. Oh, I think he said he was going to pay us one last visit before he left. Really? Then we must look for him. To the sweet! Right. Man, proper togger. Nope. <laughs> no one cares about you guys. <laughs> Actually, well, there won't be another match, so I'll just keep going and I'll do the competition route match off stream. <laughs> this place takes me back. Hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> a bit. Maybe better not mention that Victor smashed it up. Shh. The genius playmaker Jude Sharp and Raimon Coach, eh? Hey, tempers Fujit Kevin. Time flies. You got that right, mate. Too bad the footballing world's turned rotten along the way. That's why we're here. We're gonna make it a better place. <laughs> now that there's two adults on screen, the frame rate is tanking. Here's to that. Never got a chance to <laughs> Give me the bits. <laughs> Roma got his own fighting spirit, and here I am sitting on my backside. Natural ability, come off it. Roma said the exact same thing once, you know. It did? When I first met him in Italy, he was like a fish out of water. He was no good as a striker and was almost at his wit's end. It wasn't easy for him. But he wouldn't give up. He seems an easygoing kid, but when he puts his mind to something, he's unshakable. Still. Now I can tell you for a fact that Musashi is the result of blood, sweat, and tears, not natural ability. Huh? Me? 
Mr. Dragonfly. Why did you go out of your way to help Roma? Why do why do Shun and Hugh have voice lines? Why do they even exist? Ugh. And helping one another is just the rhyme on way, I suppose. He's right. But that's not for an old geezer like me to decide. The Rhymon team is what you make of it, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Yes, sir! Anyway, I'm off. You take good care of this lot now, Jude. Naturally. Naturally. <laughs> I still don't believe it. It feels like there's a wall I can't overcome, no matter how hard I try. Oh, Yosh, we're gonna have to talk about this in a private message on Discord after. You finally broke- I broke down the day they came out, man, and that shit was dope. Ugh. We'll man, see. it was so good. Ugh. New episodes every Friday, starting February 10th. Can't wait. I've been thinking about what's going to happen to the team next year after us third years have moved on. We're gonna miss ya. Yeah, and I'm gonna miss being on the team, too. I've had a great time with you lot. It's still a little early for goodbyes, though, isn't it? I guess so, but I've been wondering who exactly is going to take my place as goalie. Ah, capisco. There's actually someone I'd like to nominate. That is, if they don't mind. Hmm? What is it? Oh, uh, nothing. Come on, let's practice. <laughs> I can't say no to that. I guess I watched Steven Universe. Was he looking at me? Hey, have you heard of something called Willow the Wisp Shot? Well, apparently it's completely unblockable. Yes! I'm gonna find out who saved my life back when I was little. I actually really I like this chapter. It was. Anyway, the adventure continues in the next chapter, Truth and Lies. The background of my phone is Steven's shirt and pants. I mean, you can't really... You can't really probably see it from there, but... Yeah, it's, uh... da -da 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 -da. I'm off! See you later. Yeah, the stadium is lame, but I, I like the chapter itself. I think the plot is actually okay in this. We're going to watch some other teams playing in the tournament today. Sounds like you'll be having a ball, get it? <laughs> Don't just watch it for the antics, though. Try and learn something. Will do. So that's Arian Sherwind. Chapter 10. Truth and Lies. Truth and lies. My lord, the results of the latest election polls are in. Seymour Hillman is edging close enough to be considered a salient threat. At this rate, it's only a matter of time until he overtakes. Well, that doesn't sound very good, does it? Hmm? Ah. Are you just going to let Hillman steal the throne from under our noses? There is no need for concern. <laughs> I can assure you my position will remain unchanged. We are working towards a world where football will grant perfect equilibrium. Nothing will impede us from reaching our goal. Good. Then deal with it as you see fit. Yeah, spoilers. Alex Abel is the, this way, is the murderer in Danganronpa 3. The day that will decide the fate of football is at hand. It is my duty to bring its salvation. Let's see. I think we're all supposed to meet just outside the roulette rail station. Oh, there they are. Everyone's already here. Exactly, Osh. 
We're going to see the last match of the third round today. All aboard the roulette rail. Oh yeah, this is where you see the homie. If I want to take great photos, blah, blah, blah. Who are we talking to, Celia? Yeah. Okay, so it looks like the last match of the third round will take place at the Ice Palace Arena. Whoever wins this one is who we'll be facing next, so we're not just here to enjoy ourselves, I want you to study both teams carefully. And unlike most of the other matches, this one's not rigged. No restrictions, or so I've heard. Fifth Sector seems to have worked their magic on Mirage Middle School, so I'd keep an eye on them. Either way, it'll be sensational. So it's Mirage. Boy, get a move on. The match will be over before we get there. Stop. Wait for me. I think this might actually be my favorite chapter in this game. Which is not a very high bar. Ugh. What's the matter, Wan Chang? Come on, we'll miss the train. Oh, nah, I'm alright. You guys go on without me. What's got into you, Sir Moans a lot? I am not gonna miss out on the good seats because of your moping. We're going now. Hey, can't breathe, help! With only a few minutes to go, it's fair to say Mirage has dominated this match from start to finish. Now you see it? Incredible! As if Mirage's overwhelming lead wasn't enough, Team Captain Houdini's setting himself up for another shot. Whoa! Oh, Will O Wisp shot is so dope! There's Houdini's patented Will O the Wisp shot. The goalie never stood a chance. And there's the whistle. That marks the end of today's match, with Mirage Leagues ahead both in terms of goals and style. Mirage are our next opponents, then? I'm not sure how I feel about that. Houdini looks like a one-trick pony to me. The curl scored every goal with that willow shot, what's it? Them Mirage lads are proper sneaky-like. Everything they de makes me head spin. We came here to learn and just ended up having our minds boggled. Oh dear. How amazing was that? Did you see his Will o' the Wisp shot? It's like the ball just teleported from one place to another. We'll really have to train hard to stop shots like that, right, Wan Chang? Wan Chang? Um, excuse me, your name wouldn't happen to be Wan Li, would it? What? Oh, Faith. Haha, <laughs> it is you! How are you keeping? I haven't seen you since primary school. Oh ho ho, what's this then? An old flame? Get in there, Wan Chang. Did you come to see Harold play? I'm sure he'd be so happy to see you. I, uh, I think you're mistaking me for someone else. Wan Chang, wait! Idiota. No one can mistake a face like his. Why would he run away? Beats me. Anyhow, we better get back to school and work out how we're gonna take on Mirage. Idiota! Oh, the regional map is over there. What game is that, Zane?
As I'm sure you've noticed, Mirage relies heavily on tricks and feints to get ahead. Their nimble footwork and hypnotic style have earned them the title, The Magicians. So they really are all about tricks. The one you really have to watch out for is a team captain, Houdini. His will-o'-the-wisp shot is virtually unstoppable. They say you won't even see it until it's in the net. Naklar, the losing team would say that. Drop your arrogance. For your information, no goalie has ever been able to stop that shot, not one. That's not good. Houdini also has a nickname, you know. They call him the Straight Face Striker. And that's because he never shows his emotions, so you can never tell what he's about to shoot. We can assume it's not just an act. I imagine he will always keep a cool head and exercise careful judgment in each match. Hmm. Ah. If we're going to stand any chance against that shot, we're going to need a rock-solid defense. Let's get to work, team. Yes, coach? Dark. Got it. Subaru Honda. Block it, Wan Chang. What? He usually stops balls like that easily. Hmm. What are you playing at, you Wally? You're about as much use as a chocolate teapot. Alright, so you're a bit upset because you got stuck on the bench last time, but sort yourself out. You're gonna drag the team down. Hey, I'm trying here. Duh, I just can't compete with the rest of you. You're all super talented. I've got no chance of being in the starting lineup. Eh? It doesn't matter. I never expected I'd be playing in the next match anyway. Wan Chang. Oh, that's just great, that is. Wan Chang, come back! Wanli Chang Chang left the group. Mirage are an amazing team. It's like now you see it, now it's in the net. Oh my god. Anyway, why is Wan Chang in such a mood all of a sudden? Dirty mood, boys. Let's go find Wanli Chang Chang. Looking for Wan Lee, he flew past here not two minutes ago, looking like he was about to burst into tears. He mumbled something about going to Riverside, not to practice, I take it. No, probably not. Thank you very much. Wan Chang's gone down to Riverside. He should still be there. He's been acting funny ever since we saw that match at the stadium. I wonder what's got into him. Hmm, I bet I know. <sighs> oh, I didn't mean to run so far. What's the point of trying anymore? I've reached my limit, and everyone else keeps getting better. I might as well just stop now. You can't! What? Huh? Sherwind? Where did you come from? Wen Chang, don't tell me you're serious about giving up! J just leave me alone. I'll give it a rest. You think we're gonna leave you alone when you're looking so down? Hmm. <sighs> All right. I'll tell you what's up. I never want to see Houdini again. Never. We knew each other back in primary school. 
I was really clumsy back then, I suppose. I had my head in the clouds, and that made me an easy target for bullies. <laughs> Big oafs like you ain't a lad in a playground. Jog on. But whenever someone tried to pick on me, Houdini would always turn up, as if by magic. Oi! Did you bring lunch today? Because I can give you a knuckle sandwich. Oh, right? sh well, snap! How about it? Listen to that trash talk. I was going to give him a knuckle sandwich for lunch. You, you come straight to me. I'll teach him a lesson, good and proper. Wait, so Houdini's a good guy? He was, until one day, he just stopped. Listen, Wanley, I don't want you hanging around me anymore. He's starting to affect my street cred. Stay away from me. You got that? What? But, but why? What did I do? Harold, wait! Man, he used to wear his glasses on the top of his head. Every time I saw him after that, he just blanked me. Now seeing his face makes me sick. I thought we were friends, but some friend he turned out to be. I never knew. I bet that's why he ran away at practice today. It's not just that though, is it? He said he's not feeling up to par with us too. It all adds up. I'm kidding. Chang. It's not easy going through stuff like this. <laughs> How does Lucian know? He literally, like, came into existence, like, 30 minutes before the first match he played in. I didn't get much sleep last night. I was so worried about Wan Chang. Ah, Victor, wait. I'm going to visit my brother. I don't remember saying you could come along. I thought it'd be okay. Normally you don't seem to care what we do. So I brought him a footy magazine and some of my auntie's cookies. Hey, slow down. Vitya, he brought friends along. Vladimir's been throwing himself into his physiotherapy, and I can confirm that he's made significant gains. Well done, young man. Well, I can hardly sit around knowing that Vitya's pulling... Ugh. Peter D, thanks for the follow. Vitya's putting himself through. Oh, come on. I'm about to examine him, so I'm afraid you boys will have to catch up with Vladimir a little later. Thanks for everything, Doctor. Wow, I'm glad to hear Vladimir's on the mend. Sorry to trouble you, lads. You wouldn't happen to be from. You know. Now, would you? I can talk a lot of shit about this dub. And, and your I think that Soul's voice is okay. Ah, uh, yes. I knew it. Oh, this is brilliant. I've been watching all your matches on TV since Saints Way started. You're my heroes. Really? Yeah. Your wing steed Pegasus is deadly. And the way you played against Kirkwood, how intense was that? I'm a fair bit jealous of you for being able to play football like that, you know. Me, I had to quit. Oh no! Are you stuck in hospital? Yeah. 
Well, only for a while. I'm just here for a little checkup. I'm Soul Daystar, by the way. So, can I ask you something? What got you into football anyway? Did you have a hero when you were younger? Yeah. <laughs> it, like, it's so weird because it sounds... Because a footballer saved my you don't like Soul? I love Soul. Uh, he sounds so out of place in comparison to every other voice Good actor. Joke. Really? I'd love to hear what happened. Sol? Sol! Oh, where could he have gone? Uh, I better get back inside before the nurse has my head. I'll talk to you some other time, okay? Sol, wait! I'll come with you! Just in the nick of time. So What did I tell you about getting out of bed? Then so wait, what does Nelly do then? I would have thought they would have swapped this these two characters. I would have thought they would have swept swapped Cam Cam and Nelly for the nurse, but I guess not. But it's just no fun lying in bed all day. Yes, but it will be a whole lot less fun if you end up hurting yourself in the long run. I'm sorry, boys. He's not supposed to be up. Oh. I know you don't like it, but we all have to do things we're not fond of sometimes. Oh. All right. That's her job as me. <laughs> That's a friend. <laughs> Sorry, Sol. I've got to go. Uh. Oh, I was wanting to talk to you more about football. Come and visit me again, will you? I've not got a lot of friends around here. It can get a bit boring. Of course I'll visit. You know, we should play football together when you get out of hospital. And I'll introduce you to my friends. That'd be grand, Arya. See you soon, then. Okay. It was great meeting you, Sol. Because I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure in Shadow, when she comes out there, she's like, Oh, Arian, why are you here? It just seems weird. What? Why are you laughing? Oh, désolé! I was just thinking the two of you are like peas from the same pod. Whenever you start talking about football, your eyes light up. What? Really? I didn't notice. God. Don't take it as JP's a bad voice, thing. man. What? Anyway, what? we shouldn't keep Victor waiting. So, I'm so happy I met someone like you. We interacted for 30 seconds, but now we're besties. So, what are we all doing here? I don't know, Ator, was this your idea? Oh yes, because you know how I love hanging out here with all the teachers. Of course it wasn't my idea. Sorry to keep you waiting. This way, please. Oh, it was only Miss Hills. What do you mean, only? Anyway, I called you here to ask for your help with something. Could you hurry over to the hacker's hideout? They've been working with Coach Travis to develop a defensive move that can stop Willow the Wisp shot. Vrame? The shot that no one's been able to stop before? If we're lucky, maybe we could be ready to use the new move against them in the next match. Oh, I hope so. All right, to the hacker's hideout, everyone. Bye, miss. 
Why would you ask these four of all the people? <laughs> we need to move to block Will of the Wisp shot, and the Spyglass hackers might be able to help us out. Let's hurry for their hideout. All right. So we'll we'll call it there. We'll, we'll first we'll finish with some sweet eye natter. Hmm. I can't believe I got a photo of brave samurai Musashi. That rice ball Kevin Dragonfly gave me sure was good. My energy came flooding back. Hashtag om nom nom. The Chief's rice balls are the best! Not one correct guess from anyone so far about what the stadium's quirks are. If I guess one right, do I win anything? Yeah, I'll cheer you on at practice. Just once, though. Awful prize. Just awful. Saints way. I'm going to buy some football-shaped sweets for everyone at Windsor Manor. What is that one even? What? That's apropos of nothing. That, that one like makes no sense. Good idea. I'll get some too for my parents. Hashtag best son ever. Shut it, Kaiser. It would be great if you could all focus on the match instead of shopping. Wan Lee, are you online? Message me when you see this. Wan Lee, what are you doing? Mirage Middle schedule. Meet in the atrium at 8 a.m. sharp. I met a kid called Soul in the hospital. He's really into footy. Reminded me of Arian. Hashtag twins. JP, that's great. We should play some football with him sometime. I went to see Rick's piano recital. He really deserved that prize. What the heck is ha They, like, ran out of things to make fake Twitter say. So they just, like, at random were like, mm, what, if, what if Rick had a piano recital? Wow, he won? Congratulations, Captain! Hashtag clap, clap, clap. Why on earth didn't you tell us? Congratulations. Once again, Hugh doesn't even deserve to exist in I Natter. Alright, guys. My favorite parts of Einatter now, I know the hashtags are still the best part, but I really like Roma because of his no punctuation in all caps. That's the best part. They, like, invited him back. Well, maybe you weren't here then. Uh... <laughs> Rules are there for a reason. Uh, like, after they played the... Dodge's team, they like brought him back in and he said something like, Hey man, why why am I back in the Unatter chat? And that was that was it. So yeah. I know the plot of Einatter better than I know the plot of the game. So that's good. But yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. I will be back next week, question mark. Actually, you know. Let me see if I'll be back next week at the regular time. I never know anymore, because I change my schedule every goddamn week. Actually, no. Today's, today? Today's Wednesday, obviously, because I'm streaming Inazuma. Um, yeah, next Wednesday, 2.30 p.m. I will be back at the correct, proper time. And you know, we're getting pretty far in this game. Um, you know, I don't want to spoil it, but I did order Galaxy. It is going to take approximately 800 million days to get here, so we may never get to see it, but I did order it. So, someday, I will play through Galaxy in this Japanese. But we gotta get through this boy first. So come back next week if you want some more dope eye natter. Peace out, guys.